young boy shot his four-year-old sister in the head, leaving her in critical condition. Detectives say a man left the gun in a book bag in a bedroom where the boy got hold of it at home. And police say this is the man right here. He has just been arrested. Julia Bag joining us live this afternoon with some new details, Julia. Yeah, Shelly Roxy, that four-year-old girl remaining in critical condition here at Jackson Memorial Hospital this afternoon. The latest word from police is that neither that boy her brother, nor the gun owner, should have had the gun in the place. Under arrest, 25-year-old Quavanta Nels. Police say he's a convicted felon who admitted buying a gun unlawfully and then left it in a book bag in a bedroom where children were present. The firearm was being stored in an unsecure manner, which is how a small child was able to access it. Investigators say yesterday afternoon, a young boy grabbed the gun out of that bag in a West Little River home and then shot his four-year-old sister in the head. We urge each and every uh, member in our community, whether you own a firearm or not, to discuss safe firearm management ownership with your children. We have a, a small four-year-old child now who will not be going to school tomorrow who will not be enjoying the things that a four-year-old should be enjoying because of the, you know, negligent firearm ownership. Paramedics rushed the little girl to Jackson Memorial Hospital. And Anels is now being charged as being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. And as for that little girl, at this point, it's not clear whether doctors will indeed be able to save her life. Live this afternoon at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Julie